We, we see infographics all the time uh, that use visual data, but what this is doing is this is, this is using one specific way of getting that data through to uh, the, the, uh, the, com the uh, program that is actually going to be creating this tree, and that it represents everybody who has been able to follow this uh, this idea that that you you put there. Now these principles are used on a daily basis in Twitter, not maybe so much with the visual component, but there are uh, programs out there, sites there that you can actually see visual rap uh, representations of you know, clusters of who's tweeting, who's not tweeting. Uh, you know, of course, New Mexico, interestingly enough, and especially the Taos area, if you look at everybody who is involved in the computer, who has high speed access, and I'm not talking about dial-up, and I'm not talking about that slow packet stuff, I'm talking about the real fast thing, we're actually pretty up there. You know, I would say uh, we've had to be. We've had to learn how to adapt and to use the fact that we are off the beaten track. We are not necessarily in the flow of information that people think of normally when they think of being, you know, well-informed and in the know, but when in fact we really are. And if we learn how to use social media to, to promote ourselves, to promote Taos, to promote our individual businesses or our friends and neighbors' businesses, what happens is we get that visual presence on the net, which is just an analog. It's just an, an, an idea, a picture that represents what's really going on. We're actually fairly dense and fairly well-informed here. So 